Hey everyone, it's Tanya. I'm coming back to share my design team project for Shabby Dabby Doodah. It is my first design team project and I'm really excited about it. I had so much fun using the papers and coming up with an idea for it. The papers that I use um, is called Color and it is a really pretty vibrant kit. It has a lot of flowers and um, things that you can fussy cut and um, tags and envelopes so it's a really big kit and I loved it I loved working with it I decided to do my take on envelopes <laughs> um, if you follow me on um, envelopes and tags let me put it that way if you follow me on Instagram you probably have already seen some of the things because I have been working um, with this for a couple of weeks now trying to come up with an idea so the first thing I'm gonna show I have let me move all of these okay the first thing that I'm gonna show is my tags um, the tags came about um, because my son he got this tag on his suit on um, resurrection Sunday so I was like you know what I can take this idea and do something with it so what I did was I made these tags with it. So this one is a little envelope. This is a little, just a little, you know, tag that you can write something on. All of them are backed with coffee uh, stain paper. And then you have a pocket right here. And this one is a little long, but I figure you can hang it up on something. I don't know. And then there's the other one same deal with the coffee and then this is a little mini envelope and you could put something in there I did not put something in all of them and I figure you could put a word on here if you wanted to so that's that one and move that one out the way so my first envelope is this corset design and I just collage some of the papers onto the back and when you open it up, it has, you know, just some book pages in here. Uh, and you know what you could do? And I figured what you could do was you could, you know, um, another idea since this is going to be um, part of my uh, giveaway set. Um, what you could do if you wanted to, you can undo the, the strappies. And you can make it into like a loaded envelope and then put a pocket in here and do all that. But I left it kind of blank. I left all of them kind of blank in the inside and everything like that because I wanted you to be able to use them for, you know, um, if you wanted to put them in your journals, if you wanted to keep something, in, if you want to give them away. So I just tried to leave all of them plain. This one is one of my favorites, too. I loved how all of them turned out. This one right here is a envelope. Um, it was done with the legal size envelope. And then when you turn it over, you know, you have another tag that I made. This one has a little envelope. And it has the word uh, allowed with. <laughs> so it is a tuck spot right here. here. Let me get something. It's a tuck spot right here. And then... You open it up like this and it closes with the magnet too right here so you open it up like this and it has some of her ephemera right here and some book pages and then this one has some just some Tim Holtz um, die cut flowers in there and this one has another one of her tags and some more book pages this one is a pocket I just left it plain because I didn't know you know what you might want to put in there and so it closes back up like this and then when you flip it over you have when you flip it over you have the uh, faux uh, wax seals that you can um, use in your decorating your other journals or however you want to use them I just put them there so it flips open like this and it is lined with uh, music paper so it can make it stronger and then it unzips on the side like so 
and then it unzips on this side and then you just fold it and it folds down like that and I thought that was so cute so it has a lot of of her uh, ephemera in here so these are from the kit that is a vintage postcard this is some Edith Holden papers another image from her kit and then I just made a vellum envelope out of um, pages from the kit and then I made these little itty bitty hmm, envelopes that you can you know um, using your journals and everything there they are not they're just folded I haven't glued them down or taped them down or anything like that because I figure you might want to do it yourself so those are those okay and then we have move that out the way and then we have this one and this is another uh, legal style envelope so what I did with these I just simply coffee um, dyed them and you know when you coffee dye something and you put it in the oven it comes out darker but if you blow dry it it comes out this really pretty toasty brown color so I blow dried them and I made another zipper pocket like this I love the sound of the zipper okay and so it has a vellum frame so you can kind of see through it I just fussy cut some of her images and put them on here and the back looks like this so I thought that was really pretty then I have these now everybody that does um, envelope art or heirloom envelopes I always see them and they always use like um, plain envelopes and that is great but since I have so many different color envelopes and since the kit was so vibrant I thought it would be really great to try to use different color envelopes so that's what I did so that's why there are some different cover color envelopes in here so just unwrap it like this and move that over and we have this one this is her image it is just with vellum and is stamped and dyed and ink and then the inside we have another one of her um, file folder things and this is from Tim Holtz and you just have some tags in here and some things like that in here I did not ink the inside of this I figure if somebody wanted to they can use it as a template or they could ink the inside or put photos in the inside you never know so that goes in there like so and all of them are pretty simple I tried to you know tried to keep them um, simple this is another one I just made out of I have it upside down my bad okay <laughs> uh, this is another one I made out of music paper I use vellum you guys know I love vellum it is it makes everything look so pretty so that's why I love it so much um, and then this is one of her little postcards and we have some um, I believe this is just some linen type fabric right here sewed on and then we undo it like so and we have some more book pages and some more Tim Holtz little embellishment cards or whatever I think this is um, I think those are from Tim Holtz wildflower um, ephemera pack I don't know but I have a lot of it you know so um, I'm trying to declutter and give stuff away and things like that don't hoard so much this one is one of my favorites um, I embossed the cover I stamped it this is a vintage stamp um, I put some lace on there a little bit of bling guys I love bling I can't help myself and another vintage postcard so, and then just is one of her cut apart Uh, this is the blue envelope <laughs> this is um, a vintage stamp and I put some glossy accents on here so it could be kind of 
you know, shiny. And then you open it up like this and you have just some of her pieces from the kit. And I printed um, a page out on music paper because sometimes you want to use paper, but you know how like when you're on Pinterest and you see how they draw on the music paper or book pages and it looks so cute. Well, I tried to faux do that because not everyone is an artist. So if you print it out on book pages and um, music paper, it adds another, you know, element, I guess, to your design and your journals or your um, art, any type of art. This one right here, it is a vintage um, music uh, paper it was like the inside lining of a music book so um, I thought it went really well with the kit so I just made it into an envelope this right here is her image right here and you can see that I um, printed on music paper and I just oh guys you, you know how that goes when you're on camera you can't and do that okay so and let's see I did. Did I put something? Yeah, I did. So we have some more tags and bookmarks. Let's see, can you see that? Okay. So we put that right there. And then we have this one. Isn't that a pretty pink? I love it, right? And I just added music papers to it and some of her papers printed out on vellum. This is her image right here. It is printed out on vellum. Then when you open it like this, so you can see it like that. When you open it, you have some Edith Holden papers, and then you have this little cute, you have some more of her cut aparts. And then I just made a little pocket, and I know the words are upside down, guys, but I figure it still looks cute and if you wanted to you can put some lace right there or another uh, music paper or something like that um so it says may because we are in may and these are just little tags and little tickets and stuff like that that i put in here so this is like a i guess a ephemera pack maybe that's what i could call it and that's it guys it is done this is my first ever design team project and i am super excited about it i hope you guys enjoyed it um i hope i didn't rush through anything the person that i followed for the tutorial for the zipper um she did one just like this but i kind of improvised on the other zipper uh one right here uh was lolly palooza I followed her tutorial on that and um, my inspiration for this whole thing uh, envelope art type thing came from Luna Ruzo I love her stuff but I also um, it was not hard at all to find inspiration for this because uh, shabby dabby doodah which is Tina her kit was beautiful and vibrant and it was just really pretty to work with um, God bless, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Oh, and before I forget, this is my 200 subscriber giveaway project, and I am so excited to have 200 subscribers. So I wanted to do a giveaway. Um, so in order to win, you have to be a subscriber and just comment down below uh what's your favorite movie i am on a movie kick this week i seen endgame and i loved it so just comment down below and tell me what your favorite movie is you guys have a wonderful rest of the week bye